Hello, welcome to my very rainy Wednesday morning. Not that I'm in the rain right now, I'm in the car. Ollie's driving us to the station. My little og dog is at my feet. And for some reason, I still have my hood up, even though I'm in the car away from the rain. But anyway, it's a day of the live vlog today, guys. I'm gonna take you through my work day. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. I haven't done a vlog in ages. Um, and I'll tell you and take you through more of my day when I've got on the train and met Lou, my access worker. So, let's go on with the day. On the train. Excuse my crazy wet rain hair. I've just run for the train with Ollie. Um, but yeah, I'm currently on the train on the way to my freelancing office that I go to. Um, work out the front of my parents house with my access worker um, in my office so yeah we'll be working there today doing uh, journalism bits doing some uh, admin -y bits emails YouTube -y bits all that good stuff um, and yeah I want to take you along for my day with me and show you how a blind girl sort of works and how an access worker works and all the tools that I use to help me in my work life day to day. Me and Lou doing emails. Lou's writing in her diary and then we put it in my Apple calendar. We just got something come through at like a conference in June so that should be good to go to. I'm now in the office just looking around. I'm going to have breakfast in a bit. So currently me and Louise are searching on the internet for story ideas for BBC Radio 4 In Touch. And what I tend to do is just tell Lou what I want to search in the search bar and we have a good search. Because it would probably take me a bit longer to do this without her. Gotta love my Louise searching on my web for me. <laughs> and we get stuff done quicker. Oh, Louise. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> Look what's just arrived. Braille. Braille. Doom. I'm doing the Hadley EDU literacy course to brush up on my Braille skills. Um, and I've got a lovely instructor who I'm going to send my assignments to every month. I need to be able to read really fluently. I want to be able to read print again. Um, I can type it really quickly, I can't read it back um, very quick, especially grade two. So I'm facing my fears. Hadley EDU guys, do it. On this disc. Okay. Um, book one, important information. Book two, getting started instructions. Book three, instructor contact information. Book four, syllabus. Book five, braille literacy three. And then the last one is upgrade. I've got a really cool app to show you guys. Me and Lou have done a bit of work this morning, got my braille delivery sent to us, and then I thought, what do I usually use for bits and bobs when Lou's in the loo, or uh, we go out and Lou's doing something else that I wanted to do, and I, um, I need to rely on apps a bit because of my sight loss. This is what I use, and it's called Envision. Really, really cool app. They approached me to sponsor this video today because I do use it. I've been trialling the app for a month now and I really, really do enjoy it. I think it's second to none for reading text. It's absolutely incredible. Me and Louise were like really testing it um, several weeks back with books and handwritten notes. And now we've got to a point where in our working life together, Louise writes notes and I can read them back with the Envision app. So I'm just gonna show you. Uh, we've done a bit, a few of these tasks already, if you've seen, because this is a day in the life vlog, you've seen that we've written some emails and different stuff, but this is the, the to-do list that Louise usually writes um, throughout the day or at the end of the day, and I'll show you how, if Louise isn't with me, how I read it. So I'm gonna use the Envision app. So now we've panned and zoomed into the app, there's a bottom menu that you can click on so I've got text selected you can click on general you can click on find or you can click on help 
currently I've got text selected and there's different menus within each um, bottom menu to go through. Really simple and easy to use when you've got used to it, but I'm in text. You can start reading instantly. Read handwritten text or read a document. Okay, so I'm going to click read handwritten text. Things to do today, day, day. 5.19 phone completed. Write emails to Greg Research BRC and touch story plan next YouTube video special attention. I just think that's incredible. Like sometimes it doesn't get a few bits right, but because me and Lou have discussed different bits and bobs, I know exactly what's written on there. Uh, and we've researched stuff for BBC and we've written emails to Greg. So I know we've ticked off two of those lists. It's really cool. So I've got loads of cereals in front of me. I'm gonna make my cereal up because I'm at work and I'm a bit hungry. It's about 10 o'clock. So now I've got loads in front of me. I wanna just, I just wanna choose the one that I want. And if Lou's doing something or I can't have her to sort of know which one's which, or I'm just working here freelance on my own and uh, I don't have Lou for a few hours. Um, yeah, I need the app to help me distinguish what's what. Um, so I'm just going to pick any random one uh, and I'll show you on the app, I'll zoom you in. So I've got my cereal of choice in front of me, exciting stuff guys and I would say that the text feature of the Envision app is my most used feature. I always just, I find myself going back and back to, to this bit because I just read text the most in my day to day work life. Um, so what I'm going to do, instead of reading handwritten text here, we're reading a document. And the reason that I do that is because it takes a picture, it tells you where it is in the focus, and it just automatically takes it for you. Because I have no usable vision really, um, it's just easy to do it this way. I'll show you how it works. So I want to know what cereal I'm currently holding so I can make some cereal for myself. I'm going to read the document, click. Top and right edges not visible. Quaker oats so simple, yay, it told me. So I've got some porridge in my hand. I oh, know um, that it's, that I'm gonna be able to uh, have 100% no preservatives, I think it said. And it tells you all of the sugar and everything content, so. 12 sachets in there. Perfect. So I'm going to pick a sandwich with the Envision app. I'm currently in Asda, classy, picking my work lunch for the day. Okay, I'm starting reading instantly on this app. And it's saying it's tuna and sweet corn. It's really cool. I use the start reading instantly feature on sort of picking sandwiches because it's really, it just keeps reading as you can see. But I tend to just aim it at the bottom of the sandwich because this is where it's all, it's saying there's something thick bread, malt, whatever. Malt mayo, malted bread. There we go. It's really cool. I'm not going to have tuna and sweet corn because I'm a vegetarian. Oh, this one seems like a bigger sandwich. What we're going to go for. Day triple with Cumberland sausage. Triple with Cumberland sausage. Nah. This is a different packaging SDA altogether. Chicken, chicken, chicken breast. A spoonful of tomato sauce. <laughs> tomato sauce. <laughs> I've got low battery. Oops. Right. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Prawn mayo. Nah. I'll get back to you when I've decided what I want, guys. I think I've found the one. <laughs> Vegan mayo. Jalapenos, spoonful of mayo, and malted bread. It said it was falafel earlier. 
Put in it squash, put in it squash. Mm. No? Yep. Mexican style, but yep. that's the one. Yes. <laughs> I, guys, to be honest, with this app, it sort of tells you a few things in order for you to be able to fill it in on that mode. I showed you the two other modes, but yeah, that's why I find that really helpful because I just, I tend to just pick up whatever and put the camera somewhere vaguely in the position and it tells me that the squash and I end up knowing and then obviously I've got Louise here today to confirm with for me. So, I'm gonna get a button at squash sandwich. Hello, we're back from the supermarché from getting my work sandwich. It was lovely. Thank you for asking, it was very delicious. Um, Yes, so I'm on the find feature of Envision now, different to what I've been showing you before, guys. But I want to find my cup because I've just come in, need to make another cup of tea. Louise isn't prepared to tell me where it is because I told her not to tell me, but the app is going to. So, so I want, I'm on find. We don't want to find persons, we want to find objects. Now, you can, there's a list here and it sort of takes you through what you want to find. I don't want to find a laptop, a bottle, I want to find a cup. Finding a cup. It's hopefully going to find me a cup. Yeah. Can you hear that noise, guys? It's going to tell me where the cup sort of is. Whether it's like hotter and colder. So it's somewhere here on my desk. So then this sort of tells me I've got a mug so I can make a cup of tea. And um, so if there was any wa like water or hot tea or anything in this, I wouldn't have to go up to it and sort of feel around and then it'd spill. Whereas the, whereas the app will just tell me. So, a success. And there we have it. The work day is over. I've just got my cozy cardigan on and a cozy um, top on. And I've put my hair back, taken my makeup off. Louise is gone and I'm just on Jaws on my computer. Finishing off the day, rounding off a few emails and um, correcting a few bits and bobs. Writing a few things and just preparing for tomorrow when Louise turns up at 8.30am in the morn. Um, I really, really enjoyed having my work day with you guys. Please let me know if you like these day in the life vlogs. Again, check Envision out. It's in the description box, the link to everything. Um, if you want the app, then I would really recommend it. And um, yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you very soon.